tutorial we will look at the um, another way of uh, getting to resonance and instead of having the uh, capacitor in series we're gonna have the capacitor in parallel so here's the wires at both ends of the coil the same coil we had in tutorial 2 alright and they're coming here and what I've done is I'm still gonna use the light bulbs here but I'm gonna use two of them the both of them are in series so here's my signal generator here here's the other side of the signal generator on the other side of the coil and we'll be putting a capacitance in between here so the capacitance is instead of being in series on this line now is going to be in between the two sides of the coil alright so first of all um, these two bulbs as you see they're lit and what you want to do is you want to set your signal generator so that you find the frequency that those bulbs start to extinguish right at that point there all right so um, the reason why is that's where you're going to be able to find out where it'll resonate once you insert the uh, different capacitance all right so it's it's at a dim level right there and as soon as you insert a capacitance there you should be able to see a difference from each side all right, so right now I have it on the 100k uh, setting, so we're at about, um, um, I guess, 37, let's say even, okay, we're, we're at 40k hertz basically there, 0.4 is 40k hertz. All right, and the two bulbs are glowing. And if we just take, now when you're working in uh, parallel, your capacitance value you're going to be in the nanofarads alright so this one here this capacitance here is 0 0.8 uh, 0.18 are written on it uh, microfarads uh, which is um, I believe 18 no sorry that would be 180 uh, nanofarads alright so if we insert this uh, capacitance in between the two here notice that this bulb here went up alright what we want to do is we want to transfer all the energy on this side on the coil on the resonating side okay and what we want is we want this bulb to be extinguished and then this bulb to be lit right now we have the opposite alright so if I tune my signal generator this one is, is obviously taking a lot of energy to send to this coil here, but the, it's not giving us activity on this side, so it's just wasted energy. And if I tune my frequency down, well, this bulb comes up, okay, but this bulb is also on, all right, and there's no benefit of, of using this particular capacitor. So I'll take that out, all right, and what we can do, uh, we could either choose to go higher up, okay or start going down alright and we can take a jump down and go to here which is 0 0.009 uh, microfarads and we can insert that and tune again oh and now look what's happening so we're starting to see that we're having a balancing effect here alright we're tuning and now this bulb is coming out all right so obviously showing that it's not consuming any energy uh, as far as uh, amperage is concerned and the voltage is going through and energizing the coil in resonance all right but this bulb is kind of dim and I think maybe we can actually improve that result all right so what we'll do is we'll pop that out okay so we went to different extremes we went from 0.18 microfarads to 0 0.009 microfarads what we'll do is we'll take a step up now here's 0 0.01 alright we'll insert that and yeah we're getting oh now we're getting more light so I tune it so that the light now is starting to come here you just want to tune it so that that extinguishes 
and check out the amount of energy you've got here. You can put your probes onto that as well with your scope and measure it, but you can just do it by eye by looking at the intensity. So the other thing you could do is you can adjust it so that this one just starts glowing, right? Once this starts glowing just a little bit, all right, now you take that out. You know this is just glowing a little bit, right? And we go up in value again to see. So we're at 0 0.01 microfarad. Let's try 0 0.026 microfarad, all right? We insert that. And look, that bulb with the 0 0.01 was glowing and now it's out. So again, we have a benefit. So what we can do now, we can tune to get the bulb to glow again, just a little bit. All right, as you can see, it's just glowing a little bit. And this one's getting stronger. All right. So we'll take that out and we'll do another step up. So we've got 0 0.026, we'll go to 0 0.047 microfarad. Stick that in. And oh, there we go, look, it's extinguished again. So we did get a benefit there. So again, we'll tune. So it just glows a little bit. And as you see, this is getting brighter and brighter. So let's try another one here, a little higher up. Uh, we got 0 0.068. We'll stick that in. And well, it hasn't really changed. So I would say at that point, uh, we're probably somewhere uh, in the ideal settings between 0 0.047 and 0 0.068, this one, because it hasn't given us a benefit. All right. But as you can see, we can, yeah, right now, see if I tune one way this lights up and then the other way it lights up, it's, this one would be too high. So probably 0 0.047 would be a more ideal thing. All right, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, it seeks to extinguish there and I tune the other way and it comes back. So there's a point, this is more ideal this one you'll see that it has a, a, long period, a longer period of extinguishing the bulb here. All right, so there's absolutely no light coming out of that. And this one has light and is meaning that the cause and resonance on this side and not pulling any uh, amperage. All right, now the thing is, is this is parallel. And what I would like to show you is, um, once we change, we're, we're actually in sine wave. I was sending sine wave in there. Now if I select triangle wave, we're still getting the same effect there. All right, We're not taking any energy here. But if we select square wave, everything changes. All right, And I've never been able to get results using a capacitor in parallel using square wave. So if you want to have results uh, with using square wave, uh, I would recommend to just stay with using um, the uh, capacitor in series. All right? I, I kind of, as soon as I discovered the capacitor in series and square wave worked, then I continued that way and just dropped using it in parallel here. But there will be applications, I'm quite sure, to, and benefits to using the capacitor in parallel and we'll be looking at that as well. So I just thought I would share that with you and uh, so you, you know that there's, there's a difference. Alright, thanks.